I'm Ted Hutter. I'm the PR guy here at the Museum of Flight. And I'm just checking out this new exhibit that we've got just installed this morning. It's all about masks. So it's fitting for Halloween and it's fitting for something that is part of our lives everywhere all the time practically now. But they've been a part of aviation since almost the beginning of flight. And this is a little selection of it. Some of it kind of creepy though, like look at this one here for cold weather. Um, that would cover everything. And what I really like about it is that it says that this is kind of the beginning of it, the little tiny eyes, and then they would cut out the eyes and the mouth and the nose to make them fit the individual. Here's a mask for, you're gonna see if you're in an airliner. That's the one that drops down. You hope you never really see that one. And then other masks date back to the 1940s, military flyers, that sort of thing. Include a helmet, gotta hook up your oxygen, you're ready to go. And the masks over here goes from also kind of scary with a gas mask. Nobody wants to wear one of those unless they want to look scary. This is more of a modern type mask. If you're a fighter pilot, that sort of a, a aviator these days, this is what you're going to be wearing. That's the high tech helmet. You've got your oxygen mask, your hook up there. You're going to hook it up into your cockpit. You're ready to go. The one over here, this dates back to some of the earliest spacesuits that we ever had, back to the 1950s and the 1960s. So this, this one you might say is a classic. The museum is open again. We opened about six weeks ago. We love it. We love seeing people back here again. We are at a reduced capacity. So for the time being, our max is 25% of what we can hold in this place. And you know, we're so huge, even on a busy day, it's going to seem like you've got the whole place to yourself.